Today we're going to be talking about transposing for orchestral instruments. Now this is a problem some students have. Uh, they always get confused with this question. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you look at it a little differently, and you look at it as an interval question, you won't have any problems with this question at all. So we're going to get started right now on transposing the first question you'd be asked for orchestral instruments. So here is a question here that was in the August uh, Advanced Rudiments exam. The following passage is written for English horn in F. Name the key in which it is written. Transpose it to concert pitch using the correct key signature. Now, this is the question, the English horn in F. All right, so all you have to think about is when you are transposing these instruments, they're, they are transposable instruments, but we are going to transpose to concert pitch. Now, a concert pitch piano would be like the piano, right? So it's usually an instrument that's done in C. So C instruments would be the harp, the organ, the viola, the violin. So they don't have to be transposed. But we have some instruments that when they're played, they sound lower than what is written. Okay, so let's see that again. Here we have this piece right there. They want it is written for the English horn in F. Now when the English horn in F plays this, they will sound a perfect fifth lower. And let's see why. The letter, it's because of the letter. You see the English horn in F? So let's take a look right here. This is C. Okay, now we're gonna look at this as an interval question. F is always right, obviously, here. We're gonna go right there for F. Okay, so what is that distance? Use it as an interval question. In the scale of F major, would you play a C like that? Yes. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is a perfect fifth. All right? A perfect fifth. So when you have an instrument like an English horn in F, when they play this passage, let's go back down to this passage. Okay, let's first name the key. We see two sharps, Father Charles. There's no accidentals in here. So we're safe to say this is in D major. Okay? This piece is written in D major. And it is written for the French horn. So when the French horn in F is playing this piece, like pretend they're playing, do do do, right? It will sound exactly a perfect fifth lower than what is written here. Now, here we have a piano player that wants to play with the French horn, but we know that the piano is a C instrument. So when the French horn is playing, it's going to sound a perfect fifth lower if I played exactly what was written there. So what we have to do, we have to transpose this to what we would play so that we sound the same. So let's transpose this question. We know that it's going to be a perfect fifth because it's an instrument in F. So from C to F, remember, it was a perfect fifth. So I always take the same piece of music or here I'll say, okay, this was D, we got the letter name D. Okay, so we put D, five lower. One, two, three, four, five. We end up on the G. So we ask yourself the interval question. In the scale of G major, do I play a D like that? Yes, therefore that's a perfect fifth. All right? So my answer here has to therefore be G. Okay, so that's going to be, I have to transpose this to G major. So we decided this is G major, so we're going to put the F sharp because we know that G major has one sharp. What comes after F? G. So now we're going to put exactly what we see. We have to put the time signature, okay? We have to go a perfect fifth lower. So here it started one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to start on the G. And then write exactly what you see. From D to C it's stepped down, so we're going to step down and make sure we use the same type of note and follow stem directions. You know, anything below line three, the stems go up. Anything above line three, the stems go down. Step down, okay. A skip up, one, two, three, we skipped up, all right. Here we stepped up, so we're gonna step up here. And this is how we're following suit. Step down, so we're just gonna do exactly what we see and try to keep it in line 
you know, with the bar line so that you can see exactly the step up and step down. So the big part of the question was done, is transposing. So we saw in the key, in the English horn F, we will, to sound exactly like that instrument, on the piano, we have to play a perfect fifth lower. And that's only because of that letter, F. So from the C to the F. Okay, let's do another one in a different instrument. Now this one here is asking, the following passage is written for B flat clarinet. Okay, so we gotta name the key and transpose it to concert pitch. So now our question was, the B flat, that's what you have to worry about. Think of your C instrument, because we have to play with the B flat clarinet. Where's B flat? So here's B flat. Now, forget everything, and let's look. From B flat to C, what is that as an interval? So B flat to C, it's a second, see? One, two. And in B flat major, do you play a C like that? Yes, so therefore it's a major second, all right? So now think of it like this. Here's the B-flat clarinet playing this piece of music. And let's name the key. We got battle ends end. There's no accidentals. We're safe to say it's an E-flat major. All right? Now here's the, B, the clarinet in B-flat, because that's the name of that instrument, playing this piece of music in E-flat major. As this instrument is playing, they will sound exactly a major second lower than what is written there. They'll be playing what's written there, but they will sound a major second lower. Okay, so we determined that this passage is an E-flat. So now, don't worry about anything. We realized that if we want to play a B-flat instrument, that it was a major second lower. So let's do it as an interval to find out what key we have to transpose it to. So major second, let's do this as an interval question. From E, we go one, two. There, it's D. Now ask yourself, in D major, in a scale of D major, do we play an E flat like that? Okay, no, because in D major, we would just play an E. Because right now it's a minor second. So how do we make it a major second? So we have to therefore put a D flat. In a scale of D flat major, do you play an E flat like that? Yes, we do. Because what's in the key signature? So let's go down here and write the key signature. We're gonna to come to this question now. Okay, so let's do the treble clef. So, D flat major, so battle, ends, and down goes, right? We always say one more for the flats. So, D flat major. We, as the piano player, have to play in this key to sound the same as the B flat clarinet. Remember, when he's playing this passage, he will sound a major second lower. So we have to play the interval of a major second lower than the E flat, which we determined was D flat. So now you will write exactly what you see. We have the time signature. So from G, we step down. We're gonna start here, all right? We're gonna step up, because now they stepped up. So we're gonna step up. It's got an eighth note. Remember your stem rules. Then we step up again. This was a skip down, so we're going to skip down. You put your bar line. This was a skip down. So we're going to follow. We're going to be writing exactly, you know, following suit on what the passage above us was. All right, and that's all you have to do for transposing. So remember, this instrument is is written for B flat clarinet. So we know for the B flat instrument, it's a major second from a C instrument. Remember, from B flat to C. So we have to transpose a major second lower so that we sound like that instrument. Let's try to do one more. So all you have to remember for these transposing instruments is to look at it as an interval question. Most likely they'll have an instrument that's in B flat or an instrument that's in F. If they're asking you to transpose to concert pitch, then we have to transpose down. B flat was gonna be a major second. F major, an F instrument is gonna be transposed down a perfect fifth. An A instrument is gonna be transposed a minor third, only because we are taking it from a C instrument. That's just to figure out your 
the distance you are transposing. That's all you have to remember. If the instrument is being played, the B flat or the F, in their, if they're playing, they will sound lower. So if we want to sound like them, if we're playing in a concert, we have to, whatever passage of music they're playing, we have to transpose our, that same piece lower by that distance of the letter name. So remember, for B flat, it's a major second lower to make it sound like concert pitch, so we sound the same. An F instrument will be a perfect fifth so that we sound the same. And that's all you have to remember. Hope that helps. See you soon.